Good morning. 6.09 a.m. and I'm down at a place called Camel Rock. But it was real windy when I went to like bed last night. It is the sky is really overcast. I've come all the way down five and a half hours south of Sydney to shoot these rocks. Just gonna have to go with it. Let's see what happens. So a little bit of colour happening in the distance there. Not a lot yet. As you can see there's this great big rock formation here. And from a certain angle it looks like a camel. Definitely not from this direction, but uh, from another angle. It's just an amazing little location. So this is a place called Wallaga, just north of Bermagui, five and a half hour drive south of, uh, of Sydney. And it has been on my bucket list to shoot for a while. The weather has not been cooperating. I couldn't even shoot sunset last night, it was that horrible. Uh, and I've got a little surprise as well. If the wind doesn't pick up too much, I'm going to be able to do something else that I think you're going to love. Uh, but I'll keep that one in the bag for now. And we'll go, I think I'll go, I'll set back up down the beach. I'm going to use a 70 to 200 mil to get a shot of the uh, Camel Rock. There we go, we're focused again. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go down the beach a bit, get a 70 to 200 going, and we'll get a shot of Camel Rock, and I'll talk you through what I'm doing once I get down there. Let's do it. I'm, I've come back down a fair way. You see that rock there? That's Camel Rock. And if, and if you go up too far around the beach, uh, the perspective, I guess the parallax error, <laughs> um, of getting too close to it means it doesn't look like a camel anymore. So I'm going to shoot from here. The sun, according to my photography app, the photographer's empress is going to rise sort of um, behind the rock if I was down there. So by being here, we should also get the sun cracking the horizon in front of the camel. Now this is all in theory, so don't hold me to it. But uh, that's what I'm hoping for. And uh, by shooting from here, I'm gonna use a 7200. It'll compress things a little bit, which is cool. Give it a nice effect. Um, and we'll see what happens. But we've got about 20 minutes till sunrise. Um, the pre-sunrise colors, there's a bit of color happening now. Nothing magnificent, so I'm not missing out on anything. Um, but I'm gonna set up quickly now, and then I'll talk you through what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So let's do it. Well. I've got my shot set up. I've got the, the D810 with a 7200 on there. And uh, without some colour, it's going to be a relatively boring shot, I've got to say, <laughs> by my own self admission. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting. Um, just going to go through the process of making sure that everything is in focus. And I think I've showed you this, how I do this before. I always put it into autofocus, and then what I do is I focus on the point, and then I put it back into manual focus. If I get some nice light, this is going to be an amazing shot. But uh, <laughs> right now, it's not looking very promising for the nice light. That's the problem. Uh, yeah. It does look like a camel. I'll give you that. Um, yeah, I need that colour. Yeah, I haven't got the nice light that I thought I was going to get. But I'll show you my composition anyway, so you get a feel for what it is I'm doing. So that's the last shot that I took. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm getting the... Oh, I'm getting the you know the waves crashing on the beach here around these rocks and the camel and I'm hoping for some colour up here in the sky. We were 10 minutes off of sunrise, so right now I can tell you now that where the sun is going to rise, there is a big thick band of cloud on the horizon. So um, spoiler alert. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna get the colour of after. But I'm here anyway, I'm here, I'm ready. I'm ready to go, I'm poised to take the photo. That's all that matters, right? It's just a waiting game now, so let's see what happens. Still waiting for the colour. Uh, about, I don't know, six more minutes to sunrise. I've moved my composition slightly. Um, and this is where a really tall tripod, a tall tripod comes into its own. You see, uh, one of the cameras, video never does is show the angle or something, but that, that leg there, I've got set up much longer than these other ones and you know that tripod is such a good tripod because it's got uh, really long legs and it means that I can set up on the angles like things like that and then uh, you know still have a decent height. So the reason I moved my composition was I just wanted to cut out the distraction of the sand in my shot. I know that sounds a bit silly but I just want the moving water in front of the rock. Um, so I moved a bit to the right and these are the little things that as a photographer you can do um, when you get somewhere just to just sometimes moving like I've, I've literally moved 
I reckon a meter and a half. But it changed the entire composition. I've also tightened up the zoom a little bit because I don't feel like I'm gonna get the color I'm after. Right, so I've gone, I've moved across to the right, I've tightened up the zoom, and what I'm doing is I'm making the rock more of a feature than the sky. And so, oops, just gotta watch out because that <laughs> the water started to get close here. <laughs> I don't wanna get wet. And the other thing is if the water does hit where the tripod is and the sand crumbles away, the camera could fall over, so I have to be ready to grab that. Uh, but I want to make the rock more of a feature than the sky because, as you can see, the sky does not have much colour. There's a little bit over here on the, uh, the horizon. But where the sun's coming up uh, is going to be, I think, here where the cloud is. So what that means is, is that what we've got to do is we've got to work out another way of making this photo amazing. And I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this shot at the end. Uh, I might even zoom in a bit tighter just to really focus on that rock. It does look like a camel from here. So I'm capturing the essence of the, the tourist attraction as well, the rock itself. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll even get some colour. I put the, uh, my ND filter on now, which I believe is nine stops, my ND400, it's an Ahoya screw-on filter. Uh, and that's because I don't have a 70 70 mil lead filter kit. All right, so I've just did a 30 second exposure, way too dark. So I'm gonna go for uh, 90 seconds, which means I'm gonna do a bulb setting. And uh, there's some nice color in the sky. So hopefully I'll get that along with the misty, mystic effect of all the water. All right, so doing this 90 second exposure now with the uh, Hoya ND filter on. The light is, once again, not fantastic. It's okay. It's okay. Um, and we'll see what we get. But it's one of those things where I'm just experimenting now. I know I'm not I'm not getting amazing color. Well, I might, you know, as we've still got two minutes to sunrise. There's my minute and a half, so let's stop and see what we got. Wow. Very dark and moody. I'll show you what we got. Very moody looking. So I think I'll try a few more of those. I like the look of that. Sometimes I find if if you're not getting the colour you want, you just stick an ND filter on and go for long exposures and you'll just get something completely different. So we'll see what happens. So a two minute exposure, that, that was looking pretty moody before. Um, the, one of the challenges with this filter uh, that I don't like with the Hoyer filter is the colour car. So you just gotta take that out in post. But having said that, sometimes I leave it in because it gives you this real moody sort of uh, a colour cast across your image and not something I'm always a fan of but something that you can try something you know something different just getting a long exposure there we go well my two minute exposure worked out really good um, I'm happy with it but I just wish there was some colour in the sky I'm certainly capturing the essence of camel rock I'm doing that um, but no colour in the sky yet and uh, Sunrise was two minutes ago, so I reckon I could push the exposure to two and a half minutes. All right, just about to finish my two and a half minute exposure, and there's just no color in the skies. So I've got some good images. Oh yeah, that's really nice. It's moody, and it, it does, it captures the essence of Camel Rock. So that is a two and a half minute exposure at F9, ISO 64, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I decided to pack up because uh, I don't think the light's going to change now. It's now 10 minutes after sunrise. The light's trying to peek through one little hole over there, but it's not going to be magnificent. What I'm going to do instead, I said earlier I did have a little bit of a surprise or a secret that I was going to tell you about, um, is I finally, I ordered, last year I ordered a Mavic drone, a DJI Mavic, and I'm going to pack up my camera again, I'm going to go find somewhere to sit, and I reckon with this beautiful soft light, I'm going to get some amazing aerial footage. I don't know because I haven't done it before. Uh, I've flown a drone before, but never um, used it for this type of thing. So I'm going to crack, I'm going to pack this up, and then I'm going to go and sit somewhere and uh, and see if I can get some amazing aerial footage. You be the judge. Let me know what you think.
If you do enjoy the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and you subscribe. I'm also uh, on Instagram as well, so you can find me on Instagram, which is just look for On Three Legs, which is the number three. Just think about a tripod, On Three Legs. Um, on Facebook, you can do the same thing, or look for me, Ben Futrell, and you'll find my Facebook page. But why not connect? Um, connect with me on Facebook and uh, say good day. Connect with me on Instagram and uh, let's hang out. Looking forward to it. Thanks for uh, watching the video. See you next time. Cheers.